Let's go to example 12. Well, this example I think is a very good example for you to consolidate what we have learned in section 3.4. Okay? It is for water, okay? Don't go to the wrong table. It's for water, okay? So spend some time to complete this table. Okay? Let's see the solution. First of all, some of the phase has been given to you, so you can check the table very quickly. For example, I do the second row first because it's extremely easy. Because we have this pressure given, and uh, it is told to you that it is in a saturated liquid state. That means we just go to table A5, okay, 550 kilopascal, so we get 155.46, 155.46. It's a saturation temperature. Okay, here is a saturated liquid. So this V here should be equal to Vf. And the Vf, you check the table again, you will see that it's equal to this one, 0 0.001097. Okay, done. So uh, the second row is finished, okay? After that, let's go to the third row, okay? We have the pair of pressure and temperature, okay? It means that either it's a compressed liquid or superheated vapor. In order to determine whether it's compressed or superheated, for example, I choose this temperature as the saturation temperature and see what's the pressure. So let's go to table A4, okay? So it's my preference only. You can use uh, the pressure as your reference, okay? But here I choose to go to table A4. So 125 degrees C. We have the pressure to be 232.23. But the given pressure is much greater than that. So it should be a compressed liquid. What's the specific volume? Again, because the compressed table, the pressure is very, very big. So here, we just use our approximation. Table A4, set V approximately equal to the Vf at this temperature, 125 degrees C. We have this Vf, 0 0.001065. Let's go back to the first row, okay? So, we have this temperature, and we are given the specific volume, okay? So, let's see uh, what state it is. We must first start with the saturated table. And here, we are given the temperature, so we go to table A4, 140, here, 140. 0.001060x0 is the Vf, and this is Vg, 0 0.5 something. And uh, our given V is 0 0.05. That is between these two values. So it should be a saturated liquid vapor mixture. Or sometimes we just call it a saturated mixture. OK, that's OK. For the pressure, it's just equal to the saturation pressure. OK? And the saturation pressure is um, 361.53. OK, the last row. We have the temperature to be 500 degrees C, and we are given the specific volume. But what's the state? Okay, again, we always start with the saturated table. And here is 500 degrees C, so we go to table A4. At the 500 degrees C, you can see that we don't have such value, okay? So it means that it should be superheated, okay? So we go to table A6 here, and let's go to 500 degrees C but we are given the columns with respect to the pressure. So we need to go through all of the values. For 500 degrees C, this is a specific volume. It's not equal to 0 0.14, so of course not this. Also not this one. And uh, we gradually increase the pressure to C. So it's a 3.5655 and then... Finally, at 2.5, you will see that at 5... 100 degree C. This is 0 0.13999, pretty close to 0 0.14. In this case, we just take this value, P equal to 2.5 megapascal. Okay, however, in this table, it is in a kilopascal, so this pressure should be 2500 and the phase description, superheated vapor. So here is a pretty good summary to conclude what we have talked about in the property table. Okay. We have the tables for the saturated state, the compressed state, as well as the superheated state. For the compressed state, we usually need to do some approximation because the compressed state usually will have just a very little deviation from the saturated liquid data. 
So we usually cannot get a table because the table would essentially get the same value. Okay. So this example has illustrated on how we can integrate what we have learned in uh, section 3.4 to finish this problem. And this kind of skill, you need to acquire this because in the subsequent chapters, uh, we need to use this kind of integrated skills uh, very often. Okay, because the uh, pure substance may have a lot of change in its state. Okay, so that is a session 3.4.